everyone. So today I'm going to be doing um, a drugstore haul. I went to CVS and I got a couple of things. It's a small haul, not a large haul. Um, first, I do want to tell you that I did do a tutorial on this look. It's for St. Patrick's Day, so I do a little close-up. It's green, lime green, dark green, all the greens that I can think of. And lashes with a whole bunch of glitter. But tutorial will be linked below. Um, so let's just get started. So I did go to CVS and I picked up two more color tattoos. I really have been liking them. I've been using them for a base. So the first one I got was Edgy Emerald. And it just looks like this. Let me cover it up. I thought it was really pretty so I got it. And I did like them when I used them. And then the other one I got was Bad to the Bronze. Because I am Bad to the Bronze. And it's coming. Grabbed uh, Maybelline the Dream Bouncy blush, and I did want to try it because I did hear a lot about it, of course, here on YouTube. And some people said they didn't like it, but I liked it. I like how it feels. I really, really, I don't know, it feels so good. But um, it looks like this one, and I didn't think it was gonna show on me, but it did. And I guess it's because of the color that I picked out. Like you can't go too light. I do it on another hand. You can't go too light, but when you, well, like when you feel it, it feels so good. You just rub it on the pat it on the end, and it shows a little bit, but it really shows on my face. But once you put it on, it's it feels so good. Like you just even see it on my finger. It's I I like it. We'll see how if it lasts throughout the day. I haven't really tried it out. Then the other thing I got was um, Revlon Diamond Lust, and it looks like this in the packaging. And then the inside looks like this. It has like all of these glitters. And I like it. Let me swatch it. And it's so pretty. It's like a metallic color. So I'm going to do a tutorial with this one too. Um, I got another Revlon color stay. I was looking for just like something neutral um, to hold me over until I go to MAC. Sorry, Revlon. And um, get my neutral palette. But it's just a quad of fours. So that's that one. I'm just going to use it. Just something new. Nothing um, too drastic. I also got the Maybelline um, Eye Studio. It's like a, almost like the MAC, the little baked mineralized thing, um, eyeshadows. And it's this one. I just thought it was so pretty. So I just picked it up. And I like the way it... Um, it actually looks. It comes out very nice. Nice pigment to it. That's the pink. And then this is the brown. The brown is very red. I really like the brown. It's my favorite, the brown. And then this is the pink. So, um, like, I have to go look for some more of these because these are actually very good in pigment. Great color payoff. Then I went to try the, um... Infallible by L'Oreal. Looks like this. The packaging is really cute. And then once you open it, it has like a little thing right here that you pull up and you have to leave that on after every use to keep it pressed and in shape. That's the color I got. And then the color that I got was called Sultry Smoke. And then I'll swatch it. And it's very good in pigment too. It's like a gray color. So that's that one. And then I also grabbed. Um, I wanted to try this. The, it's the L'Oreal Magic Lumi Light Infusing Primer. So it's just a face makeup primer you put on before your foundation. And um, it looks like this. It's really cute. But when I tried it on my hands. I'm trying to get this glue off the back of my hand. Okay. You only need a very like little squirt of this. So I'm just squirt it on my hand. Just squirt it on my hand. Just a little bit. Gives like a reflex. 
Okay. Another thing I got was um, CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume. And I got the wrong color. But uh, it looks like this. It's brown black. I, I, thought I, was, I thought I was getting black black. I don't know what the heck I was thinking. But, oh, okay. One of those moments. But um, I don't know. I'm probably going to use it. If I have nothing else to use, I'll use that. And then, what else did I get? I think that's all I got from the drugstore. Oh, I did get um, a couple of things from MAC. It's hard for me to do shopping at, for makeup and not go to MAC. But one of them is from their new collection. My sister actually stole one of the items that I had. So if she is watching this, give it back now. But it's from the new collection. One of them is from the new collection. It comes in a little packaging like this. I can't remember the name of the collection. I don't I don't even know. But it, whatever. I'll link it below. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know the name of it, but whatever. But the one I got was um, Force of Love. And it looks it's a matte. And it looks like this. I thought it was really pretty for um spring summertime color looks like this and it's matte and then let me swatch it. it looks like that and also a trick for um trying to see how the lipstick is going to look on your lips is to use the front of like a pointer your pointer finger or your ring finger just a finger in the front and then swatch it and then that's how it'll show up on your lips that's how you can see how to show up on your lips trick tip trick right okay so that was that one and another lipstick that i got was just another a new lipstick and it's called spirit it's a satin just something new for the new days let's watch it let's see it's really pretty there's another one on my finger it looks like that i thought it's very really pretty and what else did I get? Oh, I got an orange um, eyeshadow. I'm not even going to try to look for that because that thing is probably everywhere but where it needs to be. Yeah. I think every freaking one. Oh, found it! Okay. So, the other two things that I got from MAC, those two lipsticks... Then I got the lip gloss that my sister stole from me. Debo straight took it. Where um, I got a bronzer because the bronzer that I do have it has a whole bunch of glitter. And I was kind of I'm kind of over the glitter until summertime comes around. And I'm gonna be on somebody's beach. Hello. Um, it was just a regular bronzer. Nothing drastic. Got too much glitter. It has a little bit of specks, but not like but freaking glittered out. And then an eyeshadow, a matte orange eyeshadow. And then I'm going to use this uh, on my cheekbones or even for my eye, but it shows really good on your cheekbones. Mm -hmm. And I think, is that it? Yes. That was my small, extra small mini haul from my small extra mini haul from the drugstore now I guess slash Mac so I guess I have to add a Mac up in the, the title but that was my small mini haul and yeah that's 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 it yep that's it so um stay tuned for the look that I did and yeah oh I, I also grabbed um some hair um what is this what is this finishing paste i couldn't think of it finishing paste for my hair when i to do my hair it's just white you know just a little bit and this is by it smells good it's by um fruity style it smells so good <sighs> it smells really good um finishing paste for my hair and i also got flat iron style hair paste and it's just for my hair when I you know styling it and whatnot just to get it to stay and you know how that goes. That was that and the fruit teeth flat iron protector from the drugstore. And okay. 
that is it for my small haul. Thank you for watching. Oh, and um, don't forget that I will link the um, look, the tutorial for this look. Um, thanks for watching, and um, be sure to look out for more tutorials and more hauls. Be safe. Bye.